Hi guys, it's Ross. Um, today I'm going to be making a video on my little EDC. This applies pretty much throughout most of the year. If I go out the weekends, I, this is what I carry. If I go out after school, this is what I carry. I don't carry it in school. Um, some of that I carry in school. I'll, t I'll go through what I carry in school and what I don't. Pretty much most of it I carry in school, apart from one item but anyway right first item the most key item to my EDC is this little mini 10 piece survival tin I put together it was an old um, like first aid kit from the pound shop took it apart took my stuff out and just used the tin first thing I've got is some string more string more string so all together I've got about three lengths of string. I've got almost a ball of string now. Right. Second thing I carry is some um, ibuprofen. Good painkillers and they're anti-inflammatories as well. This is a 10 piece kit, just in case you're wondering. So this so that'll probably go in the taxable 10 piece kit. But I'll leave that bit for later because I'll explain that in a minute. Box of matches, couple of plasters. Let me just get out the rest of the plasters. And I've got some little sort of blister plasters in here. They're not the best plasters. They're not brilliant at sticking. But anyway, right. Then I have two water purification tablets. You might be wondering how I'm going to use this because I haven't got a container. But this is a uh, this kit here is an urban survival kit and can't really say that I've ever walked more than 500 yards without sitting, sorry, oh, sorry, sort of standing on one leg balancing for some reason. Now I've just dropped it. Right, um, yeah, I've, you can't really walk 500 yards in like towns and cities without coming across some form of like a water container. So that's pretty much that covered, two water purification tablets, that'll do two litres yeah that'll do two litres right then I have a P53 can opener quite handy got like a little blade on there as well which could be used um, but you can legally carry them now here's another way of getting around the um, carry laws of carrying knives in England see I'm under 18 so that prevents me from carrying something like this. And even when you're over 18, in England, you can't carry it unless the blade is under. Oh, is it paused? Probably going to be a bit of lagging in this video. Um, you can't carry, a, carry any type of sharp item. Are you going to warm up? No, perhaps not. Um, it's hard for you to understand what I'm talking I'm shouting at the computer because it's frozen on me doing a stupid face like this. Anyway, um, yeah, in England, if you're an adult, you can't, over 18, you cannot carry a knife if it's over something like, if the blade is over two inches long, I think it is. So this little Swiss Army knife only just comes into that. So I can't carry that. So the way I've got around that is this. What it is is it's a little stone, a bit of flint, like a flint knife that I've sharpened up, and you can legally carry in England a weapon as big as you wish, made of stone, as long as it's not made of. Um, I'm going to try and say this because I always struggle to say this. Semeric, no, semeric, no, semenumeric. The kind of stuff pots made, you know what they're made out of. I think you know what I'm going on. I just can't say. Ceremonic. Think about that. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the way. And just to know it's quite good. I know it can cut through um, this duct tape on the side. And then I've got the tin. Last piece of all. You could probably think this more than a 10 piece oil kit, but I've counted all the plasters as one bit and all the lengths of rope as one bit but anyway the last bit is this it's a cloth 
sail needle and Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School talks about this extensively and all the different uses for this um, you can use it for repairing gear um, socks you can use it for hunting so that I could lash this to a pole using this or some of this and I could use this to for spear fishing because it's quite long it's about rule it back out it is three and a half inches long so that's quite handy and yes you can carry needles um, if you're in America thinking oh I know I know they've got really bad carry laws over there yes you can carry a needle um, and this one is made in England as well you won't be able to read that because the you might be able to see something no it's out of focus but yeah this is made in England um next bit so that's the first piece of EDC second bit are my keys um haven't really got much to explain about that um I suppose they're quite sharp you could use that like a bit of a knife to I, th I think I not think I have scraped a fish with one of these before with a key um sorry phone now here are the main bits this is the one this is the one bit I sometimes take this to school but most often not this is what I don't take to school one thing it's a paracord belt um it's got a simple sort of knot fastener at the front and it's frozen again sorry that me talking to the computer yeah it's got a simple knot fastening at the front and it's quite a very strong paracord it's not real paracord it's the pound shop paracord i am after christmas when i've got money i'm gonna buy tons and tons of the real paracord and make loads of paracord bracelets this is the thing which I pretty much have on me all the time now. I made it a couple of days ago. Just after my last video, I've been wearing it ever since. I haven't even taken it off in bed. It's very comfortable, you can sleep in it. Now, here's one thing I thought I'd ask you, just while I was making this video. So I think there's about, how many foot? I think there's about six, seven feet of paracord on here, but anyway. Right, these ends here, do I seal them or not? I mean, this is only a temporary one until after Christmas when I'm going to buy my actual paracord and make these. So hopefully that won't fray as much as this. But yeah, that is about it. Obviously, it's winter. I don't have to go. It doesn't have to go without saying talking about hats and gloves and stuff. That's just common sense. Um, probably thinking by now, why is he wearing a hat? He hasn't mentioned Christmas. That is my next video um, that I'm just about to make. So, see you in that. Right, okay, see you later, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye. No, it has not frozen. Lo and behold, it's done. Lo and behold, what have you?